Getting more doctors to practice in rural areas of our Colorado can be a challenge, but doctors who choose to practice or train in these areas sometimes face their own obstacles. Denver 7's Lisa Hidalgo shows us how engineers at Craig Hospital are empowering lives by helping doctors beat the odds. Push, push, breathe out. Practice makes perfect. Big breath, one more push. Even when you're a doctor. Eight, nine, ten. Blow it out. Which is why Dr. Mike Welch is practicing childbirth in this simulation lab okay. at McKee Medical Center. Okay, take a breath gently, easy, easy, gentle pushes. But a safe, healthy delivery isn't the only challenge this doctor needs to overcome. Today we're working on um, figuring out the best way to deliver a baby from a wheelchair. Dr. Welch has no control over the lower trunk of his body. Not having the core stability, I can't do it. Lean forward to deliver the baby, I'd fall forward. <laughs> And that is not a place you want to be when you're delivering a baby. I looked at it and I go, well, that's pretty much like a car hood. Basically, it just needed a prop. Dave Burkle is the rehab engineer at Craig Hospital. His workshop is in the basement. The job down here is to make uh, assistant to daily living bits and pieces for the patients. Dave worked with Dr. Welch and his therapist to develop a simple portable device that would give the doctor the support he needs during childbirth and other procedures. And it just slides in, locks in place, and I can lean forward and use all the force that I have to deliver the baby. All he has to do to get out of the deal is sit up and put it in his backpack and Done. Dave's been helping patients at Craig overcome obstacles for more than 20 years. The phone's there. They can put their mouse stick there, grab the mouse stick. He says cell phones, tablets, and other devices have really changed the playing field for those with disabilities. 15 years ago, it was real expensive to get a house set up, and now with Alexa or some of these other units, you just talk and... Alexa. It does what, uh, you know, it, it'll get okay. what you're looking for done. You know, you're always coming up with ideas and ways. How can you enable and empower these individuals to continue to do the things that they want to do? Physical therapists like Jennifer Layden say injuries do not need to define a person's capabilities. There's absolutely ways that you can work around any injury or impairment um, to make it absolutely 100% possible for these people to do any job that... Um, a non-injured human being could do. Dr. Welch says he's found many uses for the T-bar that Dave created for him, but the thing he's looking forward to the most is using it in childbirth. It's, you know, it's the miracle of life, and I'm really glad I get to ha have the opportunity to participate in it. And that was Lisa Dalgo reporting. Now, many of the programs available to patients like Samson at Craig Hospital are funded by donations, and they're not covered by insurance. Denver 7 is proud to partner with the Craig Hospital Foundation this spring to empower lives by raising money for these unique programs. To learn how you can donate right now, log on to the denverchannel.com slash empowering lives and join us for our day of giving brought to you by the Craig Foundation. That's Monday, April 8th.